I'm Natalie Dermajenko. I've just opened the Environmental Health Clinic here at NYU. The Environmental Health Clinic is modeled on a health clinic. People come not with their health concerns, but with their environmental health concerns. And instead of walking out with a prescription for pharmaceutical drugs, they walk out with a prescription for design interventions, data collection, and things they can do to address their local environmental issues and have them amount to something. So what we have here is the first mobile environmental health clinic. And I would have to say, I think it's the best office uh, in Manhattan. We haven't got life jackets on it yet, but um, I don't think we'll need them. And we're about to go and float it on the East River to hold office hours. We're going to go afloat, see if it floats. See if the idea floats. The uh, mobile environmental health clinic is made out of very inexpensive materials. And a desk and two chairs suitable for uh, meeting and discussing environmental health concerns in a pretty interesting location. Yeah, I didn't know until uh, Friday. We're supposed to meet in our office and now we're meeting on a boat, so. Ah. All right. Okay. <laughs> so why have a floating office, why sit on the water to talk about the water? Right, CSOs. One of them is right over here. When you see the oil slick, when you see the emissions that come, when you smell what the water smells like, you have a great deal more direct evidence. And with that evidence, you can more directly participate in the political processes around rethinking our relationship to these natural systems that we depend upon. environmental health clinic. <laughs> Women's health issues only because men weigh too much. <laughs> but um, yeah, there, there is a source of fresh water, but it's, it's along a, a lot of industrial sites. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure that any tadpole that would be placed in that would not survive very long. Right. right. The environment in particular, the shared uh, water system, is a commons. It's an environmental commons. Who gets to inhabit it? You know, these small, unusual uses of the river, I think, generate many more ideas about how people could inhabit, could use, could reimagine their relationship to the local water system. Got it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well done. So I'd have to say the first floating environmental health clinic sessions went very well. We didn't sink, which is good.